the wealth gap in my own terms. The wealth gap is a condition uh, uh, affecting communities of color. The wealth gap to me is an intentional divide of economics based off of race. The wealth gap in simple terms is the difference between living paycheck to paycheck and having savings. White households in Boston have a median net worth of $247,500 compared to $1,907 for Latinx households and just $8 for black households. So I was speechless about this statistic to be uh, realistic. The city focuses more on band-aid solutions and not really addressing systemic equities at the root. A lot of the times, due to the wealth gap, the biggest challenge is the access to financial resources. This is a very tough challenge, and because we know minority-owned businesses are on average smaller than larger, we know without even looking at the data that there's no doubt that these uh, companies in particular were left behind in the process. Just $10 million of the first $2.2 trillion coronavirus relief bill was allocated to the Minority Business Development Agency. That is 1%. What businesses need now is not more information. We need more action. Also, as a nonprofit, you know, every nonprofit is experiencing difficulties at the moment uh, because our uh, either our corporate funders or philanthropists are uh, tightening their purses uh, because no one knows uh, how things are going to end up at the end of this. It has taken a toll in us, uh, and me personally, uh, in my family. Uh, we, uh, probably working 24 hours a day, you know, in this little room here. I've had to accept a number of organizations and partners telling me that at this time they're not really able to continue forward with their summits, their seminars, um, their workshops. It's scary, you know, we're just trying to do our best and fortunately for my, myself and my team, we have jobs or other ventures, so we're able to survive at this time, but we're really put in a tough place. 